Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeff. So fans, especially from Southeast Asia, are not happy with Hybe founder and chairman Bang Shi Yuk's statements in the video entitled The K-pop mogul behind BTS is building the next BTS in LA. This was uploaded by Bloomberg Television. In this video, Bang Shi Yuk said there's a substantial decline in indicators in Southeast Asia. There's a significant drop in these metrics. The growth of local music is taking away opportunities away from K-pop. People from these countries want to listen to songs in their own language. And then he continued, The only area where growth is possible is the U.S. If K-pop succeeds in the U.S., it can upset the declining indicators in Southeast Asia. The moment K-pop becomes mainstream pop, it can maintain a competitive edge against local music in Southeast Asia. That's why I'm focusing on the U.S. So fans are not happy about these statements. So... Abby said, you're focusing on U.S. because you got lucky with BTS and are now getting panicked as they're on hiatus right now. Shooter for Hobi said, he says this as if he's doing something monumental and not just making his Korean artists sing in English with the most pathetic, stereotypical lyrics so that it sounds catchy and hits it off on TikTok. Someone put a tape over his highly egoistical man's mouth, please. Stop talking, we're tired. <laughs> okay. What I don't get is why would you want to mainstream K-pop? Niche audiences shifted to K-pop because it offers something different. But that's fine with me. Let their talentless groups be mainstream and slowly become nobodies in no time like anything else mainstream nowadays. Glad to know his perspective on our market. As a Southeast Asia fan, the growth of local music does not affect that much on K-popers. But the factors are all from the discrimination of how labels treat us as fans. They provide all the closer benefits to Western and Japanese fans. Here's another comment. Is he purposely being blind? Does he not see how big K-pop is in Southeast Asia? Just look at Indonesia and Philippines for the biggest example. Or maybe he's just racist? Here's another comment. I know that Bangshi would like to expand the market share in US. I understand. However, you should treat all fan club equally. Otherwise, you will lose Asian market as well. Here's another comment. What is sad about this is that he believes that just being Korean is not enough and that they need to assimilate to make it. Sad, the world is bigger than the US. Here's another one. It's no longer about healing music, mental health, or self-love, but it's about the charts. We left pop world because the music there doesn't have meaning. That's why we became K-pop fans. Ten years later, Bang PD is still looking for white man's validation. How pathetic. Here's another one. Wonder if it will take this greedy man's words for some fans pretending hype does not have favoritism. And here's another comment. An armies are shooters for this dude. He's trying to get Western validation for his artists or push K-pop in the West by pumping out English songs digestible for Western radio instead of, oh, I don't know, K-pop. And he insulted Southeast Asia in the process for no reason. Yeah, this man is garbage. And then here's another one. Wow, the nerve of this guy to somehow belittle Southeast Asia fans support in the K-pop industry. Just so you know, the wave you be getting right now, a lot should be credited to us. Southeast Asia fans are very supportive to the point that a lot of Korean subcontents even before streaming began. Here's another one. The way your American dream wouldn't even work if Southeast Asia fans weren't standing 10 toes down for your idols. <laughs> I don't want to say this. Uh, 
<laughs> this little bitch <laughs> here finally start pissing me off because you can grow in literally any market if you actually let your group stick to making the music they are popular for not making them do catchy generic pop that'll be good just for us radio and tiktok sounds and do a real app <laughs> um the declining indicators in Southeast Asia is because the artists are losing their roots and identity, trying hard to be mainstream and mediocre. Thankfully, J-Hope can relate. Go west or hell, my superstar would stay true to his music. Imagine the K-pop industry without the support from Southeast Asia. And here's another one. We believe in music. X, we believe in money. Check. He wants to promote K pop in the West but keeps on releasing mid English songs written or produced by white men. He don't get how weird this sounds. Here's another one, Bang Shi Yuk is totally an ingrate. To think he can change K-pop into pop by marketing in the US. K-pop is K-pop, pop is pop. In Global Report Asia accounts 49.6% towards global physical sales in 2021 and 2022. The 50% accounts to the other global markets. Growth your ass. Okay, I don't want to continue that. Okay, that. K-pop will never be a big genre in the U.S. Here's another comment. This blank isn't serious because K-pop wouldn't be this big if it weren't for fans from Southeast Asia. Can he be serious? And here's another one. Changing Hybe's motto. We believe in music. Nap. We believe in money. Here's another one. Bang Shi Yuk probably doesn't read how Seventeen Playbook does. They build Southeast Asia bases with Korean and Japanese, which are considered as hardcore bases. And look at them now. People are shocked that they managed to pull 4.7 pre-orders easily with mini album. Is this 4.7 million? I like K-pop because it doesn't sound like Western music, but this statement not only explains why the genre became more and more unattractive for me in recent years, but also insults the very supportive Southeast Asia fan bases who go all out to support their favorites. Overall, it's ignorant. Okay, I'm gonna read three more comments here. I see why it's hard for them to come here, but they don't realize Southeast Asia fans, especially Thai, Moas, are very loyal and dedicated. It's just sad that he wants Western validation so bad. Okay, here's another one. Not him throwing an entire demographic under the bus. Southeast Asia fans been here since day one. They are literally the cornerstone in globalization of K-pop. Here's another one. Final one. That's why mostly K-pop groups skipping Southeast Asia countries because they want the West validation so much. While well, you can see mostly big group have big fandom coming from Southeast Asia countries. The dedicated fans alongside Japanese. So guys, these are the comments from the fans, especially from Southeast Asia. Obviously, some of the fans here are not happy with Bang Shi Yuk's statements saying that he's gonna focus on the US market. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. And guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. BTS, ARMY, all, all 2022. Amazing.